what we are most concerned with as coaches and individuals is the individual. And there we have inter-individual variability, which is the more statistical way of saying that different people are different. A really important study, possibly the most underrated study in exercise science, I think, is significant strength gains observed in rugby players after specific resistance exercise protocols based on individual salivary testosterone responses. Basically what they did is they tested rugby players, so not noobs or anything like that, serious training um, guys, they were, I think they were all guys, uh, doing either five sets of 15 at 55%, so endurance, four sets of 10 at 70%, which is like tr traditional bodybuilding, three sets of five at 85%, which is pretty traditional strength training, or three sets of five at 40%, which is pretty traditional power training. Then they measured their hormone levels, mainly testosterone, using um, a saliva measurement, which is pretty reliable actually. And then they looked at which of these protocols for each individual got the best response and the worst response. And then they actually put them on, the pro on these programs. So they actually put them on the, the best program first and then on their worst program and this was randomized to the other group the, the other way around. And then you see this is basically change, this is time. When they were put on their, their best protocol, the program they had the highest testosterone response to, they gained a lot of strength and size in these weeks they were training. Then when they put them on the worst protocol, they lost strength and size while doing this training. Now you might say, okay, not too surprising. But this means that some people gain more size during three sets of five at 40% of their max than they do when they do four sets of 10 at 70%. This is real. Some people actually vary that much in their individual response training. Now I put these, this in a chart so you can see how many people were in each protocol and then obviously most people are in bodybuilding followed by strength, followed by power, followed by endurance. So the order makes sense. However, if you put all your clients on the bodybuilding program, half of your clients are gonna get a suboptimal stimulus. And this is because everyone has an optimum physiology somewhere along the strength endurance continuum. And this is a problem, right? Because different people respond to different kind of exercise programs. Uh, but we, we have to find out what is the best stimulus for that person. 